fan of the Hauraki Big Show podcast? Yeah. Make sure you check out more from Jay, Smike and Keezy on their Instagram at Hauraki Big Show or tune in to them 4 to 7 every weekday on Radio Hauraki. Thanks, mate. Can you give me a bit of a heads up when you're about to fire that off? Can you give me a heart attack then, Keezy? Did you have it turned up again? Did yeah, you? Well, you no, I didn't, right I, didn't, I didn't touch it. I just plugged in an old Heath. Heathy, it must be Heath. Just pounds it out. I mean, a hell of a... I've got a headache now. Do you know what I think? I think when he leaves, he just cranks it. I think he has it... Deliberately? Yeah. Yeah. No, I reckon that's quite funny. Mm. It's funny. You'd like that. I feel a bit tired you? all of a sudden. Do you? Yeah. Is that weird? I... You've probably got COVID. I don't... I'm having an issue. I'm not having an issue. He is having an issue. Go on. Do you think I've got COVID? No, 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 not at all. Right, right. No, right, no, right. no. I don't think that. No, but you, you sound very yeah nasally. Yeah, yeah nasally. I, honestly, I, it's not that I have an issue. It's not that I have a, a bad issue with it. I have an issue not laughing. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, 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 that's a good issue to have. But the, and I'm not going to complain about this because it's about one tenth of what Mike's had. But I've literally had this nasally nasal passage. And a uh, chesty cough since the day I landed in Fiji. Nothing more, nothing less. Just snotty as nose, chesty cough. Right. I've had a brain crushing migraine for. Jesus, listen to these two. Eight months. Eight months? <laughs> yeah. So you haven't even mentioned it. That's not like you. Totally, man. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Makes me feel quite woozy, but I won't go on about it. You know All what right. I mean? It's No, it's just that I. When you when you what when Just you start when you talk, when you talk it, I I find it amusing. It's not that nasally, is it? <laughs> How come there's a pallet of toilet paper out there? Day and Lou, I'm picking. Ah, really? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm guessing so. Must I can't, be giving some away. I yeah. can't think of why else. Speaking of which, you just got something that really gets deep inside my goat. You can't for love nor money buy a four pack of fucking. Loo paper anymore. It's either like a 50 pack or a 100 pack in supermarkets. I don't want to buy a 100 bloody toilet rolls. I I've just never want, seen a 100 pack. I just want, but you know what I'm talking about, just massive packs of toilet More paper than four, you mean. And Six no or eight small or ten. packs. I bought one the other How day. How long is a four pack going to last in your it house was, when you've got woman in your house? It lasts for three seconds well, with a woman I, in the I house. I have a four pack in each they toilet. They just chuck it away. I'd I, like to know what happens to it. I have a four pack in each toilet. Why don't you just have that? You don't have somewhere that you stow it? A stowing area? Yes, I have yes. a bathroom where I stow it. Mm. It just gets on my goat because I. I find it annoying God, buying, you hard yes to live with. Buying, <laughs> a, Jesus. buying a package. like It's like a bale of toilet paper. It's so big. So you want four and rolls of toilet up, paper. And it takes up most of the trolley. You should start a company that makes four packs of toilet paper. I'm going I bet to. there's billions of people out there that would buy them. I'm oh. going to. <laughs> why don't you really buy, why don't you buy single packs but buy four of them? Well, if I, if, and the, the why don't you go to McDonald's and steal it? I used to steal toilet paper so when I. I was really broke. Toilet paper, napkins, uh, yes. tomato, salt and pepper. Yes. And cash. Yeah, yeah. Not Are cash, you talking no. about your doll days? My doll days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why don't, when you start your <laughs> when you start your toilet paper company, the tagline can be like for people who have enough time to go to the supermarket four times a week to buy fresh toilet paper. Yeah, that's a good that's a good tagline that rolls off the tongue. Because we have we literally buy like a twenty pack of toilet paper, and once a month we might go there or something. Yeah, yeah but I mean, I don't know. You do a lot of midnight steamers as What's well. That I mean, that? that's. You say you use up a roll when you do one of those. I do. I say that. Yeah, yeah. What? Well, because of the splatter and the mess. The splatter, the yeah. Steaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't a roll of toilet paper. That was a roll of handy towels. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a bath towel. And a bath towel. Is that and getting a, better for you, the midnight steamers? The midnight steamers. Yeah, they're going great guns. Let oh. the midnight steamers. And Mogi. Coming I mean, out Keezy's burn. Damn, I thought You're you were, a were a really going to nail the end of that, and you did it. <laughs> you were a fine one to talk, by the way, Come Mogi. Out about, out what? About, about ladies using up toilet paper when you do eight steamers a day. Well, yeah. Are you an eight steamer man? No. You're According not one of those to Jason's guys. Narrative, right? you, are, are you one of those guys? You know, some people, which I I've know never, some people. When I've never, you're got, an I've never got my head around. Use one square what? of toilet paper. I just yeah. I do a big wrap. I mean, I get a real nest of toilet paper. Yeah. 
Because, you know... I, you were saying off one, air that you one that every time you go like, and do your steamers, you make a nest of toilet paper in the bowl so that you can examine your feces um, post-poop. And that you crouch over it that's like a bird. Said. That's crouching what you over said, a, anyway. An egg. I don't know if it's true, but that's what you said. I'll, I'll be honest with Maybe you. Maybe you're just showing off and trying to impress me. I, I don't know. I do. I think it's, I think it's a responsible thing for every... Uh, person to do to inspect their fecal matter. Yeah, and you'd use a pen. Yeah, well, I measure them. That's why I say three perfect tubes. Yes. And I can tell you, eight centimetres a tube. Eight centimetres each? Oh, no, seven. Ooh. Seven centimetre tubes, Keezy. Right. Seven centimetres by seven centimetres. Are they cubes? No, they're tubes. <laughs> Are they cylindrical? Cubes would be good. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're cylindrical. They're really right. wide. Yeah, and then yeah, is the end girthy, a sharp? Is it a sharp end on it, like a blades come down and cut it, or is it like rounded like a dog roll? Rounded like a dog roll. Right. Yeah. And do yeah. they ever come out linked oh. up like a roll of sausages? Well, you know, that's I've made the point. That's almost what they they do have like a tie off almost. <laughs> yeah. Right. The nip off. <laughs> A little, like, spermy tail. So we did oh, it. it's sort of like when you've got your bag of bread and you're closing it up and you just grab the top of it and you spin it. The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. We had a flatmate that used to suck the air out of it and With breathe all over everyone's bread. Yeah, we didn't breathe on it. He unbreathed on it. No, he it doesn't matter. It doesn't it fucking opposite matter. Breathing. He's what, what, sucking he, on I've our never bread. Heard of that. He used to I've suck never heard on of the that. bread packet. So Seriously, my nana used to do this, which is fine because it was her bread. Uh, you Your before you spin it off, like a fucking loopy. You, you suck, my nana will kill you. My, honestly, <laughs> she will hand your ass to you. Uh, so you suck it out so there's no air. Jace. Jace. I'm listening, Keezy. No, I'm you're on like, your phone or something. It's very rude. I just wrote down on our prep page, annoying flatmates. Oh, that's yeah, all. that's good, yeah. But um, so she was sucked the thing out, and I was like, okay, my nana does that. First ever flat I was in at O House in Christchurch, which is where you go if you go to broadcasting school, like I did and you guys didn't. Um, is, uh, you well, I didn't need it. I got an honorary degree. Yeah, from the radio school. It's different. Um, and it was a diploma as well. Um, it was a degree. The, it was a doctorate. <laughs> Doctor Doctor Hoyt, they do not have Doctor Hoity J, <laughs> Doctor of Radio, um, but uh, flatmate. Literally first day, we all went shopping together, bought bread. He had some, sucked on the bread, spun it, put it back in the pantry. And we were all like, "What the hell are you doing?" He's like, oh, "I always do that just to get the air out of it." It's like this most disgusting thing ever, and he refused to stop doing it. Can I really? Just, can so I, we had to get our own separate bread. Did I? Can I correct you? He didn't <laughs> suck on the bread. Correct me. Oh, correct me. Yeah, he didn't suck on the bread. He sucked on the bag. The, the bread bag, yeah, he yeah. sucked on the bread. Either so, way, so every time you took a piece of bread out, it rubbed past his mouth juice. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, would you be okay with that? Would you? By the way, this guy was also real weird. As long as there's four of them. Mm. What I like to do is um, is freeze my bread, Same. and then every every now and then I'll go and get two pieces out and let it defrost during the day. <sighs> <laughs> and um, while you're out shopping for four pieces of toilet paper, no, four rolls, four rolls, easy. right, 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 Not okay. pieces of toilet paper, right. And then what do you um, do? Then I'll, then I'll suck on the bag and get all the air out and put it back in the freezer, right. Are you rocking? I've a- never actually heard of that, to be honest. I haven't heard of that. No, nah, neither. Did he wear two t-shirts? Nah, he wasn't a good dude. He was a, he was weird. Like he was a sort of wear a turtleneck without a t-shirt kind of guy. Like yeah, a real sure. a psycho. Turtleneck. Yeah, yeah. Um, but are you guys rocking butter can like butter in the pantry type setup? Yes. Yeah, same. We've just started doing that. It's great. Have you? How's that going? Great. Your grandma Keezy. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what we've got, which is a bloody cool thing. Nothing worse than hard this butter. Is, uh, yeah, yeah, this you. is old man chat, this shit. Yeah, good. There are these butter things, and I don't know, you've probably seen them. Butter bell? They're, is that what it's called? Yeah. Butter bell. Butter bell, so, butter bing. Butter face. Um, and you put this butter in this bastard. It's a ceramic number. Right. Yes. And then there is a receptacle, like a, let's say a jar. Right. You fill that up with water, but yes. not completely, about half full. And then you drop this butter bastard upside down into the water. Okay. And it uh, keeps all the butter clean and it keeps it temperate. So it keeps it at room temperature. Right. And because the butter is fatty, when you take it out, the water just rolls off it. Yeah, so true. So it doesn't wet your butter. And it is a... 
revelation. I've had and that for about 10 years. They're fucking good. So you, you've really, both got them? They're yeah. really wow. good. Yeah, yeah. They are the shit. Right. Excellent. And, they're excellent. And, and a great gift, let me say. Wow, yeah, I need to look into that. Yeah, really good. Oh, you fun- actually, Keezy, sadly, you would love it. Well, funnily, I don't know if I'd love it. I just enjoy I, I, having it. It was given to us as a gift <laughs> right. by my wife's mum. Um, yeah, they're we great. We got one for my wife's mum, but then yeah. I took it. By the way, yeah, why yeah. don't you say mother-in-law? <clears throat> why do you say my wife's mum? Is that... <laughs> okay, mother-in-law. No, I was just wondering, like, because then, yeah, okay. Well, just, just I don't say it, mother-in-law. Just how it do came I say out mother-in-law? I, I say mother-in-law. No, I don't think you do actually. I've never heard you talk. Sarah's mum. Yeah, let's yeah, yeah. not start mother-in-law talking about. Thing. Let's not start talking about mother-in-laws, Keezy, with some of the stuff you've been saying. No, oh. don't you dare. I'll. You can rag on my mum. Actually, no, you can't. That's backbone. That's I would true. never rag on Mon. <laughs> so, Ever. Uh, poor Mon. Um. But a Raining chat Jace, did you bring your umbrella? Nah. Oh, uh, I think it's in my mother-in-law's car. Oh, <laughs> that unlikely. does sound weird, actually. <laughs> uh, uh, your Horaki Big Show Keezy Word of the Day. Is that all we're doing? Well, you can keep going. It feels like a real shitter. Butterbell. 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 <laughs> Butterbell. Yeah. The name for this <laughs> one is Jace's Poos and Butter Chat. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally the topics we've covered in that one. Uh, and Mogi's poos and my your steamers are uh, actually four rolls of toilet paper four and four rolls of toilet paper look at Pugs he's hating the fact that we're trying to name the podcast just name it four rolls of toilet paper and Jace's poos and Butterbells <laughs> uh, follow us all on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok I'm and all that Facebook. I'm not on Facebook either, actually. Are you not on Facebook either? <laughs> nah. Follow us on Bebo. Oh, I am actually, yeah. but I never go on Facebook. Oh, sure. No, yeah. you are on Facebook because I remember when I first started here, you did a post about a curry you made and I liked it. <laughs> you were like, beautiful curry, Brown homemade, nose, blah, blah, blah. And I actually like, went through a period of making shit and doing videos about it. Actually, yeah, they were very popular. Oh, hugely popular. Did you know Jace added me on Facebook before I even was working here? Really? Did you know that? Well, not intentionally. No, it seemed intentional. It was just stalking you. I think we did like a commentary together and then you added me on Facebook that night. So you obviously went home, thought about it, and then added me. This guy's the shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have to find that nasally bastard. (laughs) Yeah, and then he poked me. (laughs) With his nose. (laughs) 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 Anyway, send the kit. You know what to do. Thanks.